Good morning students. Welcome to the first session of the quadratic equations for class 10th. In this chapter, we'll be taking up the standard form of the quadratic equation. We'll be solving the quadratic equations uh, having the real roots by two methods, the splitting of the middle term and by the quadratic formula. We'll be establishing the relationship between the discriminant and the nature of the roots. We'll also solve the word problems on the quadratic equations. Now let us take up the quadratic equations. In chapter 2, we have learned about quadratic polynomials. We all know that a polynomial of the form ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b and c are real numbers and a is not equal to 0, is called a quadratic polynomial. Now let us take up one example of a quadratic polynomial. I can take it to be as 2x squared plus 3x plus 4. Now why is this a quadratic polynomial? If you see here, the degree of x here is 2. So we call it a quadratic polynomial. Now if I equate this quadratic polynomial to 0 or maybe to some constant, then this no longer remains a quadratic polynomial. This becomes a quadratic equation. So I'll call it now a quadratic equation. Why quadratic? Because it is having the degree as 2 and it has been equated to 0. So it is called a quadratic equation. So when we equate a quadratic polynomial to a constant or a zero, we get a quadratic equation. Any equation of the form Px is equal to C, where Px is a polynomial of degree 2, that is it is a quadratic polynomial, and C is a constant, is a quadratic equation. Examples of quadratic equations. Now let us take up a few examples. Consider the equation 2x squared plus 5x plus 3 equal to 0. Now we all know that a general form of quadratic polynomial is ax square plus bx plus c wherein the x square coefficient is generally written as a, the coefficient of the x is written as b and the constant term is c. So here the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 gives us a is equal to 2 the coefficient of x square, b is equal to 5 the coefficient of x and c is equal to 3. Now consider another equation, x squared minus 3x is equal to 0. Now here again, the degree of x is how much? The degree of x is 2. So here the coefficient of x squared, which is a, is 1. And the coefficient of x is minus 3. The constant term here, c, is 0. Similarly, we can take up more questions, more equations. 5x minus 4 equal to 0. What is the coefficient of x squared over here? The coefficient of x squared over here is 0. So I can say that it is not a quadratic equation, but it is a linear equation. Now we can take up the standard form of the quadratic equation. I, if you remember, I had taken up the equation as a quadratic equation. The example I had taken as 2x squared plus 3x plus 4 equal to 0. That means I must have a term of x squared, a term of x and a constant. That equated to 0 gives me a quadratic equation. So, so we make out the general form of the quadratic equation. It is ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0. So this is the general form of the quadratic equation wherein the degree of this is equal to 2, the highest power of x. The coefficient of x squared is always represented as a and we call it what? We call it the quadratic coefficient. The coefficient of x is represented by b generally and we call it the linear coefficient and c is the constant. The condition for an equation to be a quadratic equation is that it should have a not equal to 0 and a, b, c can be any real numbers. So the standard form of the quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0 where a, b, c are real numbers and a is not equal to 0. So again, I told you A is the quadratic coefficient, B is the linear and C is the constant. Let us take up a few questions. I'll take a few examples. Check whether the following are quadratic equations or not. So let us take up the first part. We have x squared plus 4 minus 4x plus 1 is equal to 2x minus 3. Which on simplification gives me x squared minus 6x plus 8 is equal to 0. So clearly I can say it is of the form of ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. 
a is equal to 1 over here, b is equal to minus 6 and c is equal to 8. So it is a quadratic equation. Let us take up the second part now. The second part is x into x plus 1 plus 8 is equal to x plus 2 into x minus 2. If you just have a look at the equation, at the first glance, this term here will give me what? This term will give me x square term. This term x and x being multiplied will again give me an x square term. So it looks as if it is going to be it is going to be a quadratic equation. You will be surprised to see what the answer comes out to be. x square plus x plus 8 is equal to x square minus 4. a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b. So x square and x square cancels and I am left with x plus 12 is equal to 0. Is it a quadratic equation? No, it is not a quadratic equation. So my dear children, you must keep in mind that an equation may not be a quadratic equation which looks like to be a 1. You need to first simplify it and then check. So just have a look here. It has been done for you. Therefore, it is not a quadratic equation. Well, keep in mind that an equation which appears to be a quadratic one might not actually be a quadratic equation. Represent the following situations mathematically. John and Jivanti together have 45 marvels. Now again what it says is John and Jivanti together have 45 marvels. So I take let I take let John have x marbles. Okay. Now if John and Jivanti are both having 45 marbles and John has x out of them, then for sure Jivanti will be left with how many? Jivanti is left with Jivanti has 45 minus x marbles. Right? Now both of them lost 5 marbles each. So John will be left with x minus 5 marbles if 5 marbles are lost by John. And Jivanti who had 45 minus x marbles, when she loses 5, she will be left with 45 minus x minus 5 marbles. At that time, the product of both of them is equal to how much? It is 124. So this is how we represent it. We need to form a quadratic equation. Let us see what it simplifies to. We have x minus 5 into 40 minus x is equal to 124, which gives me 40x minus 200 minus x square plus 5x is equal to 124, which simplifies to x square minus 45x plus 324 is equal to 0. So this is how we represent the quadratic equation mathematically. This has been done for you. So this is the representation of the problem mathematically. Let us take up exercise 4.1 now. Check whether the following are quadratic equations or not. What you will be doing, you will be first simplifying them and then finally deciding whether it is a quadratic equation or not. If the degree is 2, that means it is quadratic equation. If not, then it is not a quadratic equation. Represent the following situations in the form of quadratic equations. Let us take up the first part. The area of the rectangular plot is 528 meters square. The length of the plot is one more than twice its breadth. We need to find the length and the breadth of the plot. So let us try to represent this mathematically. What will I suppose? I'll suppose that let the breadth of the, let the breadth of the plot b x meters. Obviously, the length will be how much? The length will be equal to how much? It will be equal to 1 more than twice its breadth. So it's going to be 2x plus 1 meters. Then it is also given to us that the area is how much? The area is equal to 528. Area is what? Length into breadth. So x into 2x plus 1 is equal to 528. That is the equation we were looking for. We will simplify it. I will get 2x square plus x is equal to 528. And the final equation comes out to be 2x square 
plus x minus 528 is equal to 0. The second and the third part can be done by you. The fourth part is very important. Just go through it. Read the question. A train travels a distance of 480 kilometers at a uniform speed. If the speed had been 8 kilometers per hour less, then it would have taken 3 hours more to cover the same distance. We need to find out the speed of the train. So let us try to solve this. Okay. Now what we'll suppose? We'll suppose let the speed be x kilometers per hour. Distance is how much? Distance is equal to 480 kilometers. Distance is equal to 480 kilometers. So the time taken will be how much? Time taken is equal to distance upon speed. So 480 upon x. Had the speed been 8 kilometers per hour lesser. So new speed will be if the previous speed was x kilometers. If the previous speed was x kilometers, then the new speed is how much? The new speed is x minus 8 is the new speed. This is the new speed. So the new time will be how much? The new time will be equal to 480 upon x minus 8. This time is how much? So the new time becomes 480 upon x minus 8. This time is more than the previous time. 480 upon x by 3 hours. So this is what the main equation stands for. You will be simplifying this and getting the answer. Let's see how it is being done. It is given to us that this new time is more than the previous time by 3 hours. So the new time minus the previous time is 3. 480 upon x minus 8 minus 480 upon x is equal to 3. And we get the quadratic equation which simplifies to x square minus 8x minus 1280 is equal to 0. So this finishes the first exercise. Hope you have no problems. Thank you so much.